So the industry has now become quite accustomed, particularly in smaller machines, to offering an, an option of lithium ion batteries. There are advantages and disadvantages to these machines. Really, the, the, the main two disadvantages are to lithium ion is that you cannot operate the machine for very extended periods of time without charging it. So these, char these trucks are the polar opposite of lead acid in that they are designed to be opportunity charged. They have a smaller capacity than a lead acid battery, but you can get quite a high volume of the power back into the battery within 30 to 60 minutes, unlike a normal truck, which might take eight to 12 hours to recharge. So that's one downside is if you're in an operation where you're continuously moving the truck for five or six hours without a break and no time to recharge or opportunity charge, then lithium ion's not for you. You need to stick with the traditional lead acid and battery change. The other downside is the price. Lithium ion is more expensive and it's newer technology than lead acid. So much like a Tesla car, which uses lithium ion batteries, different type of lithium ion battery, but uses lithium ion batteries, these trucks are more expensive to buy. The advantages are numerous in that you can run the truck 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you want to, and just keep charging it for 45 minutes or an hour on breaks and things like that. So you get maximum value out of the asset. You don't need to do any battery changing, so there's no manual handling involved. And some would say, best of all, you never top them up because it's a sealed battery unit. You don't go into it, you don't top it up, you don't need to check the battery levels or anything like that. Unlike a lead acid battery, if you over discharge one of these and run it down flat, it's quite likely it will be unrecoverable. Which means, let's say on a, on a counterbalance truck where you've got a big lithium ion battery in it, unlike this, a much bigger one, you may end up with a bill for 15 to 20,000 pounds for a new battery, unlike a lead acid battery, which might be three or 4,000 pounds. So there are costs uh, associated with it, but if it's managed properly, it works really, really well for most operations because not many sites uh, are, are the operators sitting on the truck and staying on the truck and in continuous movement. Higher intensity operations, lithium ion might not be the answer for you. So in terms of the battery care, what you need to be careful of with lithium ion is not exposing it to anything very, very hot environment or very, very cold environment. There are options that will allow you to operate them in a cold store environment, but a standard lithium ion battery is not really designed to go and work and live in a cold store environment. Again, it's another sort of slightly extreme operation. You drive the truck around. If you're gonna leave it alone for more than 10 or 15 minutes, this one's got a built-in charger. You simply plug it into the wall and then you come back unplug it, reconnect the uh, plug to the truck, and you can use it immediately. There's no heat involved in the battery, you don't have to wait for the battery to cool down. So it's much more user friendly. Again, no battery topping, so if you're in a sort of food environment, you don't have any risk of spillages or anything like that. But there are obviously, you know, you have to be careful with the lithium ion battery in terms of the, the heat it's exposed to. Toyota's batteries are unique in that they're in a, a sort of they almost look like small AA batteries stacked up within a tank. So our engineers are able to, if there is a fault, able to plug into that, take a single unit out and replace even individual little cells rather than replacing a whole battery. So it's much more flexible and cost efficient than most other manufacturers. Whenever Locator sends out a lithium ion truck or lithium ion powered truck, we will send it with these, which is the Toyota's advice sheet on what you should do regarding charging and plugging the truck in and also some guide about the temperature environments that the truck will work in. And our salespeople will come to site and run through that and make sure that you're happy with your obligations as, as the end user. But to be frank, um, we would have gone through all of that before we would even recommend or supply the truck and looked at your shift times and made sure that the battery will be able to do what you need it to do. It's a much more sort of scientific and fact-driven process than lead acid batteries where people just tend to spec the biggest battery in the truck. The important thing with batteries is to talk to an experienced salesperson and evaluate your operation. Don't assume that lithium ion is the answer to all your problems. You need to go through a proper technical process and make sure that the battery is right for you and it's going to last the shifts that you need to. One of the other key benefits about lithium ion batteries is, is their life. So a normal battery is warranty for five years and quite often is pretty much at the end of his life after that period. Lithium ion batteries have a seven year warranty and are capable of many, many more cycles than a lead acid battery. So if you're in a relatively average operation, you might find that a lithium battery actually outlasts your truck. 
and you're buying a new truck to put around a lithium ion battery rather than the other way around, which is a, a novel way of looking at it. If you'd like any advice about batteries or even electric trucks as a rule, then please contact locators on 01202 854 200. Thank you.